Bring in Yahoo Finance's Jessica Smith, who is standing by in Washington, D.C., with reaction from that press conference that just wrapped up a short time ago. Jessica. Yeah, we did want to bring you Joe Biden's comments. He just put out a statement about the situation saying that it's a tragedy that the president put personal politics above his sacred oath. He also says that this is a national security issue. He says Congress must quickly take prompt action to hold Donald Trump accountable. Now, this is coming after that press conference between the president of the United States and the president of Ukraine. We saw them get asked by reporters about this phone call that they had that really is at the center of this impeachment inquiry now. The Ukrainian president was directly asked if he felt pressured by President Trump to investigate Vice President Joe Biden. He said that he didn't want to get involved. He noted that reporters have already read the text of the phone call, and he said that he was not pushed. He also went on to say that he hasn't pushed anyone, the prosecutors, to look at Joe Biden. But I think it's interesting to point out what happened in that transcript when the president told him to look into the Biden issue. The Ukrainian president responded saying, the next prosecutor general will be 100 percent my person, my candidate who will be approved by the parliament and will start as a new prosecutor in September. And in this part, he says he or she will look into the situation specifically to the company that you mentioned in this issue. So I think that's a little bit of a conflicting statement there when you heard the Ukrainian president tell reporters that he didn't ask anyone, he didn't push anyone and that he did not feel pushed by President Trump. And then you have that wording in the transcript. So that's just an interesting note there as we try to take all of this in. Yeah, Jessica, I'm wondering, you know, in the lead up to this transcript being released today, um, it seemed like things were just kind of divided along party lines uh, in terms of, you know, whether in fact there was a need for any kind of impeachment proceeding. Now that the transcript is out, have we seen any movement on either side among lawmakers who are now coming out and saying, look, maybe we should look into this a bit more? Not much. You'll see Republicans really focusing on the fact that there was not an explicit quid pro quo. Um, then you have Democratic lawmakers who say you don't need to have that explicit exchange there. It's pretty obvious what the president was asking for and that the Ukrainian president understood what President Trump was asking. Um, one person that we are seeing a little it's a little uh, movement on is maybe Senator Mitt Romney. He's not committing to saying that the president did something wrong necessarily or supporting an impeachment inquiry, but he has called this deeply troubling. Um, so we'll see once we get the full whistleblower complaint, once lawmakers look at that, I think that could be maybe what changes people's minds. Okay, Jessica Smith, appreciate you staying on top of this story. Hey investors, Zach Guzman here. Are you interested in learning more about the markets and getting the latest financial news? Well, then click right here to subscribe to our Yahoo Finance YouTube channel. Get the latest up to the minute market analysis, big interviews in the world of finance and information on how to manage your money every day, wherever you are.